Right, just a, um, a quick little experiment. I was wondering, uh, after doing the, the testing of the THS antenna, whether, um, just, well, just how accurate the, the G90 uh, you know, SWR uh, meter is, the scan that it does. And um, I thought, well, let's, let's compare it against a couple of other things. So what I'm going to do is, uh, what I've done here is I've plugged it into this antenna here. This is a um, uh, magnetic, magnetic loop uh, antenna and it consists of two parts. It's got the, the main um, resonator part, it's got the coupling coil here and at the top in a plastic box which is actually probably needs to be replaced by now is a um, is a um, vacuum capacitor. So the um, and we've got some coax going from the coupling loop through to the um, the G90. Now the vacuum capacitor is um, like a high power capacitor, quite common for magnetic loops. Um, now the thing about the loops is that they're a very, very narrow tuning frequency and um, tuning range. And I thought what we'll do here is if I hit the the power button here, we should see, um, you might be able to see that, that is actually, it shows us just like, just how narrow a a tuning range that is. So that says it's lowest, so it really says one to one on uh, 7089. Right. So I'll write that down. 7089. One to one. So as far as the G90 is concerned, this is actually a bit funny, it's got a little bit of a <laughs> the way that it goes up here. I would have thought this would be actually a bit more um, Bit more uniform but anyway uh so so that's what it's showing on on the g90 now we'll quit that um and what i'll do now is i'll just quickly uh add in the connect it to the um rig, rig expert i've just got a um the uh the a35 it's an older one um Fine for this sort of stuff though. So set, turn that on. Now that uh, loop is tuned for 40 meters. So two. Well, let's do the SWR chart on this. Now, so we'll go. Okay. Right, so we can see that says a one to one to one point one one at seven oh nine five. So slightly different resonant point obviously than what the G ninety thinks. Let's run it again. Oh, still the same. So one to one point one right seven oh nine five. Now look, in reality, does it really matter? I mean, as long as the radio thinks it's happy, it's it's probably it's probably fine. But it's just interesting to see really what the difference is. So that when I when I did that check the other day, uh, you know, while this said one thing, the radio itself was perfectly okay. Now the third thing we can do, <laughs> oh dear. Is uh, we'll use the VNA. We'll see um, best of three, eh? Best of three. So turn this on. This one might be a little, bit, a little bit harder to see. And we'll change it to 40 meters. Right, and I'll scroll this along. Here we go. So um, you might be able to see, I'm hoping. So this is showing that again we got a really sharp dip, which we saw on the on the um, on the on the Rig Expert and well and also on the G90, but it's sort of a bit more of a uniform dip on both the Rig Expert and, and this. And this says that this is resonant on this is at 1.0 at 
at 7093. Okay, so let's write that down again. One to one at 093. So there we go, we've kind of got similar results. Similar results, slightly different, um, slightly different frequencies. Let's um, let's just confirm that that is the the case. And that things haven't changed. This on here again. No, 7089. So, look, um, that actually means that if I would have said that uh, the G90 um, uh, meter is, um, or that scan function is actually pretty good. It's, um, I guess it's slightly lower. I don't quite know what the, what is the step values in here? One kilohertz. Can we change that? Uh, if I change it to three kilohertz, yeah, okay, right. Let's we can actually change it. If we go to two kilohertz. If I go to two kilohertz, yeah, this is what I've done. Um, so if I go to two kilohertz. It now says one to one on seven oh nine five, and that actually matches what we had here for um, the rig expert, and more closely matches what was here for the um, the V name. So um, you can see if I push this button, it changes the kilohertz value. Okay, now it's three kilohertz. Um, it will say. 7097. So I guess that's just really the resolution. Um, yeah, so again, actually like uh, pretty good. Probably, I don't know if I can change those values really in the rig expert. I kind of just always use what I've got. But anyway, look, I guess essentially what we're saying is the G90 meter is, is perfectly accurate. Accurate enough for what we need anyway. Um, if you're building an antenna and you haven't got anything to check it with then obviously the G90 meter itself would be perfectly fine. If you set it to 2 kilohertz in this little mini test we did now you're going to get pretty much the same results as what you're going to get for, for this device here. So yeah there you go. Something different? Who would have known? Have a great day. See ya.